Right. All set. Um, nice. Hi, Masu. Um, thank you for Hello. taking the, the time to talk to us. I'm Martin from Stray Fee Sports. How, mm. how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Um, I want to start by asking you, did, did you know that you were going to be in the world's music video? I did not, actually. It was a huge surprise for me. And yeah, I mean, I was just so shocked. And I had to watch it a few times because the first time I saw it, I'm like, there's no way that's me, right? But then I'm like, nobody else looks like that. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It took it took a little time to kick in the realization. Yeah, for sure. Can can you talk to me a little bit about what what went through your head once you realized that were that that was you? Ooh, I mean, I think I was just super super happy. Um, I just had a lot of memories where coming back from school or early in the mornings, whenever world season would start where me and my brother would like watch the music video or listen to the song. And, you know, it was cool seeing all the players in there beforehand. And now being a part of it just felt completely unreal. And it's really, I mean, it's really just amazing. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> do, you, do you think that being included in the video is a, sort of a testament to the, the incredible first year you've had? Mm, I won't use it. I don't want to like use it as a ego booster or anything. So I wouldn't say that. I would just say, I guess, because I'm an exciting rookie from the LCS that I was chosen for the video. So I'm very grateful for that. And yeah, I think because I've been doing well with my team, then I was included. Okay. That, that, that's fair. Um, I think um, coming into your opening matchup, I think most people would agree that you had a fa fairly favorable draw. Um, mm. But but Gam actually has shown a really good level of play during during play-ins. So how confident mm. is the team on uh, on your ability to take the win on your first day? Uh, we're very confident for sure, but that is the state we try to go into our usual matches which is just be confident in ourselves and our teammates but we're not disrespecting gam at all we also think they've been playing pretty well so just like any other team we're preparing for them we're watching their vods we're seeing what they like to pick how they like to play and we have to take the games as seriously as any other game to win it okay um, now, speaking of picks, how do you personally feel about the current uh, bot lane meta? Do, do you think it favors you? Mm, yeah, I would say so. I think there's a lot of versatility, a lot of different things that you can pick. And I consider myself a player that can play many different champions and styles. So I think it does fit me, yeah. Okay. Now, um, the the team has shown a, a really great upwards trend throughout the entire season. Um, mm. Was there any particular moment or series that you feel was a, a kind of a turning point for the team in, in your growth? And uh, mm. how do you plan to maintain that momentum coming into Worlds? Mm. I would say our series against cloud nine and playoffs was where i noticed the most difference i think in that series i noticed that we were a lot more on the same page as a team we listened to each other a lot more we kind of helped each other play the game a lot more so in that series i think that's where i noticed the most amount of growth from what we've been working on and carrying that through worlds I think we just have to carry the same mindset we had in the beginning. We have to help each other out. We have to get everyone on the same page. We have to make sure the entire team sees the game kind of in the same way, in a sense, so we can all do our roles better in the game. And yeah, I think carrying that into worlds would be very good for us. And we would need to keep a good mindset to do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, as a young player coming into your first Worlds event, um, mm. 
how do you make sure you're prepared mentally and physically for for the such a such a high pressure environment mm mentally i would say i'm lucky in the sense that i've played at msi and i've had two international tournaments that i've played in so far so i've gotten a good amount of experience in front of big crowds so i'm not as nervous as i would have imagined i would be and other than that mentally before the game i try to kind of calm myself down i try to feel the excitement of the match feel the excitement of competing which is the entire reason i do this and at the same time i try to focus on what's important i think i try not to focus on stuff that are outside of the game so when i get into the game i really try to zone in on what's happening on my screen instead of like making a mistake and then dwelling over it for the rest of the game and kind of not being able to focus i would say focus is the most important part of my mental preparation in terms of uh, physical i guess our performance coach tenor before our games we stretch we um have some kind of exercises so that helps us get some adrenaline out and helps us focus sure um now i uh, i'm curious uh, are there any bot lanes uh, international bot lanes that you're really looking forward to facing at worlds for sure i mean i really want to play against everybody but i would say for sure gumeyushi and kerya i want to rematch against them especially because now i think i've grown a lot as a player so i would like to see how i match up now and other than that elk and on pays in the hands jackie love and mako really everybody i would like to face viper as well Okay. Now, uh, speaking of your previous international tournaments this year, um, mm. w w were you sort of surprised at the the level that international teams showed? Uh, did did you feel that it was it was an almost uh, unreachable goal, or do you think uh, the LCS is not that far from getting there? Um, definitely, I did not see it as an unreachable goal. If anything, it gave me a lot of hope, seeing like oh, these players do this and that, and this is kind of how they see the game, and it really helps me learn for myself. So it's that's been good. And yeah, when I first got into MSI, first uh, especially, I was, I guess, I realized more why these players are so good, because before coming in, I thought they were good because of this reason. But then... When I played against them, I found out they're good because they do their role in the game very well. And how they determine that role is also really quickly, really fast. Their decision making is great. And they just they just know what to do in the game and what each player needs to do. So that's something I've been trying to learn and play with intention. Okay. Uh, now, now, just to wrap up, uh, could I get your thoughts on on a hundred thieves getting eliminated from planes? What What do you think went wrong for them? Mm. Honestly, I am pretty sad for hundred thieves. I did think they would make it out of planes. Um, I think it's the same issue that they've had maybe all year, which is. No matter what, they just fought everything and it seemed like they didn't really think about their comp much or their win conditions or what their champions want to do. They kind of just met the enemy at the objective and just started fighting. And I think that ended up biting them pretty hard. Right. Okay, that, that's all the questions I have for you today, Masu. Um, mm -hmm. It's been such a pleasure talking to you and best of luck Thank at you. Worlds. Thank you. Bye-bye.